how proud everyone is of you for making this book. But what part are you most proud of? I'm most proud of chapter 16, I want to say. Chapter 16 is, is for that section is because a lot of the other strategies in the book are, you know, research-based, they're, they're proven, there are things that I've seen or heard from other people or other people have experienced, and I tweaked it to kind of make it work. Or didn't tweak it, just like, this is exactly what works, just do this. But motivating unmotivated students, like, that's all me. Like, that's so we talked a little bit about your legacy and, you know, how proud everyone is of you for making this book, but what part are you most proud of? I'm most proud of chapter 16, I want to say. Chapter 16 is, is right, right after that section I just read about my friends, um, Brandon and Dominic, and you can do these things. Um, I start with that, cha uh, that chapter talking about how to motivate unmotivated students. And the reason why that is like my baby, like why I'm so proud of that section, is because a lot of the other strategies in the book are you know, research-based, they're, they're proven, there are things that I've seen or heard from other people or other people have experienced, and I tweaked it to kind of make it work. Or didn't tweak it, just like, this is exactly what works, just do this. But motivating unmotivated students, like that's all me. Like that, that's literally what, I, when I was struggling the most and I was trying to figure out how to get students to care, and how to get students to show up, this is the, proceed, the, pro, the framework that I created and now I put this in the book. Nobody else can, can put their name on this. Like this is the exact steps that I go through. And I talk about, you know, helping students first identify their dream through a process of Ikigai, which is, um, if anybody, is anybody familiar with Ikigai? Have you heard of it before? All right, all right, so the Ikigai is like helping, but I synthesize or I watered it down a little bit for students. And what Ikigai is, Ikigai, Iki means life and Gai means purpose. So it's like finding your life's purpose. And it's asking for very intentional questions and being able to pull out a statement that it asks you, um, what are you good at? What do you love doing? What does the world need more of? And what can you be paid for? So having students kind of answer all of these questions helps to promote or to reduce their icky guy, which is their life's purpose. But now they have something to shoot for. A lot of times students are unmotivated because they like they don't care, all right? So come on now, <laughs> okay? Like flashing. <laughs> so because they don't, they don't care. But by helping them find their icky guy, it gives them a reason to care. And now when people have a reason to care, they're willing to struggle because people are always willing to struggle for the things that they care about. It's a little bit taboo because sometimes you go through this, especially in middle school, in icky guy, and you're gonna hear students say, I wanna go to the NBA. You know, say, I wanna, I wanna be a football player, I wanna be an artist, I wanna, I wanna do these types of things. And people are like, that's, no, you need to get this math, right? You need to get this information. Only 0.84% of people go to the NBA, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, people are gonna say things like that. But my approach is, like, let them dream. Like, what's, what's wrong with letting them dream? Let them, as a matter of fact, if, instead of breaking down the math, like, this is why you won't make it. Help inspire and encourage them to say, you can do this, right? But here's what you have to do in order to make it happen. Right. You really want to go to the league? Like, you got to put in that work. Yeah. You got to wake up early. You got to grind. You got to, you know what I'm saying? Like, help them get there. Because I guarantee you, if they do make it to the league, you're going to be like, I saw him, right? That, that, he, he was in my class, like, right? So, like, inspire and encourage. So, in that chapter, I'm talking about how to help them identify their purpose, but then leverage that purpose in your class through the use of transferable skills. So even if you're teaching a math class to somebody who says, I want to be a gamer, I want to, just, you know, I want to be a YouTuber when I grow up, I'm not saying teach them how to understand algorithms. I'm showing them or telling them to say things like, you know, by understanding how to learn this process right, of, of inequalities, right, go, taking something that you know nothing about and sticking with it, struggling with it, working with it, having the mental toughness to be able to figure it out, that's a transferable skill that you're gonna need if you wanna be a gamer, right. right? It doesn't have to be literally math or science or social studies, but you're helping them to learn transferable skills. So that's all in that chapter, and um, that's one of the things that I'm most proud of. Is that the end of the question? Um, no. Yes, you didn't use your TikTok wait, wait, wait. name though. No, 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 it's not over. What was the quick phrase again? <laughs> it was no, immediately no. Yeah, no, immediately no, it's not the end of the question. <laughs> no, but that is powerful because I am reading a book on Ikigai, so I have to oh, circle really? back on that chapter. Yeah, oh, so, yeah. you know, it's more than just your students. It's about anyone who's trying to discover and pursue their passions. So it's more than just teachers you're appealing to. This book is for anybody. No, immediately no. Um, <laughs> it's, not, it's not for anybody. No, 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 no it's too late. <laughs> no, no, no.
<laughs> well, I will just say this. I will say to your, to your point, I do fully honestly believe that the first three sections, 40% of the book, that, that's for anybody. Like, identifying your dream, you use that in any, in any service, I mean, in, in any field. Illuminating your differences, that's, the, that's when we're talking about how to find what makes you unique. And then three is I ignore your doubters. That's fortifying your mindset against the naysayers, whether they're internal or external forces. Those can work for anybody. That's 40% of the book. But the last 60% of the book, the last sec section, improve your data, intentionally is gung-ho 100% all for this is for your classroom. Um, and then somebody who's not in education, it's, it's really tough to kind of read that last segment. But definitely the first 40% of the book, that's, that's for everybody. Okay, 40%. <laughs>